In this video, we will solve one more problem using instantaneous center method. The same problem we have already solved using relative velocity method. In this problem, a configuration diagram with various dimensions are given. Here OA is rotating in anti-clockwise direction with 600 rpm and we have to determine velocity of the slider d velocity of this slider d and the angular velocity of the link bd now this we will try to determine using instantaneous center method so first we have to draw this configuration diagram in our sheet for that i have drawn one vertical line in which we will mark this oc so take scale now O to C is given, O and C, this distance is given 65 mm and from C to this point, this distance is given 11 mm. So mark three points, so one point, this point is your O, this point, from here you can see this is 6.5 cm and then 1.1 cm, this point. So these three points we have marked, after that remove the scale, from this bottom line, this bottom horizontal line you can draw. So I have drawn this horizontal line. Now we will start from O. This line we will draw OA which is of length 28 mm at an angle of 75 degrees from vertical. So put this. So from here 0 you can see this is 70 and this is 75 mm. So mark one point here. One point I have marked here at an angle of 75 degree. Remove this. Draw line. Now length of this line should be 28 mm, 2.8 cm, so 1, 2 and then 8, somewhere here you will get. So this point I have marked, this point is your A. Draw line. From A, this length of AB is given 44 mm and BC, this length is given 49 mm. So I have drawn an arc with center A and length 44 mm. Now from point C, this is our point C. We will take 49 mm length and draw another. This length is 49 mm and we have drawn another arc. Now join this, mark this point and join these two lines. Now from B to D is given, BD is 46 mm. So take center as B and length 46 mm and draw an arc. Draw, I have drawn this arc, so it is intersecting here. So mark the point and around this point draw this your slider. So in this way you have completed your configuration diagram. Now next step is you have to number these links. So there are six links. So first one is uh, fixed link. So fixed link is always marked as number one. And uh, then you can mark arbitrarily each link a separate number. So this link I have marked as two, this link as three, this link as four, this link as 5 and this slider as 6. Now we know from the angular velocity ratio theorem omega x divided by omega y is equal to i x y to i 1 y this length divided by i x y to i 1 x this length. Now angular velocity of this link link 2 can be determined and we have to determine angular velocity of this link that is link 5. So in place of x I will write 5 which we have to determine and in y in place of y I will write 2. So our equation will become omega 5 divided by omega 2. So this is 2 5, 2 5 or i 2 5 dash i 1 2. So here 2, so this is i 1 2 and this is 5. Therefore, this is i 2 5 to i 1 5. Now omega 2, calculate omega 2, 2 pi n divided by 60. So omega 2 is 62.8 radian per second. There are six links. So number of instantaneous centers will be uh, 15 uh, which is 6 into 5 divided by 2 that is n n minus 1 divided by 2 where n is number of links. So here number of links are 6 therefore 6 into 5 divided by 2 so 15 instantaneous centers will be there. You don't need to determine or locate all the 15 instantaneous centers. You need only these three instantaneous centers i25, i12 and i15. So first whatever instantaneous centers you can locate using by inspection you can mark those instantaneous centers. So you can see that this is the joint of link 1 and 2. So this is instantaneous center I12. So this should be I23. Now this is 3 links are connected. So there will be 3 instantaneous centers 3, 5, 3, 4 and then 4, 5. So there are 3 instantaneous centers here. One instantaneous center is here between 1 and 4. Then here 1, 5, 6, 5, 6 is this one 
I16 is also known which is at a distance of infinity in the direction perpendicular to the direction of motion of this slider. Draw one circle. In this circle, mark number of links as points, as dots. So, there are six links. So, one, two, three, four, five, six points I have located marked. Now, you, you mark all the instantaneous centers by drawing lines. For example, one, two is there. So, draw line one, two. In that way, I have drawn all the lines which are already available. So, all these instantaneous centers from here, I have drawn here. Now, we check whether these instantaneous centers are available or not. I25, 25 is not there. And I12, I12 is there, it is there. And I15, I15 is also not there. So, let's draw first 25 or 15, we will try. Okay, 15 we will draw first. Because if you draw 15, this line you can see that this line is common to two triangles 1651 and 1451 therefore i15 can be located by drawing lines through i16 and i56 one line and another line i14 and i45 by drawing these two lines intersection of these two lines will be your i15 that is what i have written here so i15 can be located using drawing line from I16 to 56, 1656 and I1445. So 1445. So here we will draw this. Now we have to join I56 to I16, which is at infinity in a direction perpendicular to the direction of motion of this slider. So I have joined this line to infinity. Now another another one is I14 to 45. So this is your 14 and this point is 45. So extend this line, the, when you extend this line, it is intersecting at this point. So this point is your I15, mark this point as I15. Now next point you need is I25, so join 2 to 5. When you join 2 to 5, again you can see this 2, 5, this line is common to two triangles. This, these two triangles are I, uh, 1, 2, 5, 1, this is one triangle and 2, 3, 5, 2, this is second triangle. So I25 can be obtained by drawing lines I12 and 15 and second I23 and 35 this is 23 and 35 so 12 and 15 this is 15 and this is 12 so join this line so 12 to 15 I have joined line and another one is 23 to 35 23 to 35 so this line is already there so intersection of these two line is this one so this point is your I25 now we have obtained all these instantaneous centers, all these three. So, no, we don't need to determine uh, instantaneous centers further. So, let's start calculating the values. Now, here uh, I25 to 12, so uh, omega 2 is already there, 62.8. Now, this length I25 to 12, this length is 3.2 centimeter. I25 to 12, so this is 25 and this is 12. So, if you measure this 1, 10, 20, 30, 32. Okay, 32 mm. Similarly, I25 to 15, 25 to 15, this is 25 to 15. This total, le total length is, you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 5.7. So, this is 5.7 centimeter. Put these values to get omega 5. So, this is what you are getting as omega 5, 35.28 radian per second. Now, direction of rotation of this angular velocity is clockwise because this is the common instantaneous center for 2 and 5, 2, 5. So, 1, 2 is here, one side and 1, 1, 5 is another side. So, these two points are two opposite, at two opposite sides. Therefore, direction of rotation of these two, 2 and 5 will be opposite to each other. So, 2 is rotating in anti-clockwise direction. Therefore, 5 will rotate in clockwise direction. That's how we have determined this direction as clockwise. Now, once we have determined angular velocity of this link 5, we can determine velocity of this slider by determining velocity of this point, which is on this link 5. So, velocity of this point can be determined using formula V is equal to R omega, where R is the distance of this point from the center of rotation, that is I15. Let's calculate this. So, this distance is, you can see this distance is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4.3 somewhere 4.3 
so 4.4 you can take 35.28 omega into r is 4.4 so you are getting velocity of this point which is the velocity of this slider is equal to 155.23 centimeter per second now we have taken this length in centimeters that's why we are getting this value in centimeters you can convert this into meter per second which is equal to 1.55 meter per second so in this way you can determine uh, velocity or angular velocity of any link uh, using instantaneous center method these two answers are not exact answers actual answers omega 5 is 36.96 which is given in the book and similarly velocity is 1.7 meter per second so some difference in answer is possible when because it is not always possible to draw accurately thank you for watching this video